Residents of the Sea View Lofts who have been staying at hotels originally had them paid through tomorrow, but now the city is extending that. Still, though, a lot of uncertainty for the people who live here. John Kaufman is back at the Sea View Apartments today. Just looking for an update, see what's going on, see how much longer I have to wait until I can move back in. And right now, there's no clear update on when residents might be able to move back in. They've been out of the building since Friday after they were told they had 48 hours to vacate the building due to safety concerns. What's the past week been like? Well, a lot of my plans had to get canceled because now I had to get removed from this place. 48 hour notice is kind of basically instant. While some like Coffin are staying with people they know, others are staying in hotel rooms paid for by the city, like this man who didn't want to be identified. Yeah, it's frustrating and stressful. Originally, the hotels were going to be offered through Wednesday, but today the city extended that to Monday, July 11th. This morning, neighbors, though, were still in the dark and unsure what they would be doing next. Is it frustrating to not have that answer? Man, you already know it's frustrating not having that. If you're just not knowing where you're going, if you have a place to lay your head, like, that's crazy. The city says there are several issues with the building, but the main one is the elevator. One needs to be up to code in order for the building to reopen. But so far, the city says they've gotten no new updates from the building owner on when that might happen. The building owner is due in court on Friday to continue to work through these issues. In the meantime, neighbors are hoping those efforts aren't a dead end. I, I feel like it, it, it's, it'll pan out, man. Like, God always got a way for everybody. But for now, uncertainty while these issues are figured out. In Newport News, Brendan Ponton, News 3.